ghostly voices stay in this place. What the? Oh, ho there! Would you happen to know why the bridge is up? Sir? Don't! Oh. Uh. Could people not stop murdering each other for one bloody minute? And put us out of work? Thomas almost welcome the change at this point. Come on. The body would have floated downstream. Heading for that course. To me, fucking all the fun. Letters for Fort Jericho. There's your new job. Now you're a postman. Nah, not for me. Too dangerous. This warrants a closer look.
traces of a ghost's memory resident. We may have found our victim. A very broken strong box. Empty of its train band payroll. Our messenger was also carrying money. And it's gone. Boy, help me up! Help me up there! C come, boy. There's blood, but I'm not so badly hurt. I'm... What are you doing? Put that blade away, boy. No! 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 The rock didn't kill him, nor the water. The Scudder boy finished the job. And robbed him blind. A dead messenger. A missing payroll. And a single name. We know two Scudders, don't we? We do. And one of them isn't the sharpest knife in the bag. No pun intended. This would be a better book if it had pictures in. Better still if I knew how to read. <laughs> Your Lordship? Oh. Red. Mr. Scudder. How are things going around here, Credence? Well, you're asking me. That's so great. I don't know anything, but... Is your cousin around? I've not seen him in a while. Maybe he's gone to the woods, the safe part. He does that. What did he do in the woods? Checking his traps, I suppose. Not that there's much game. I wish he wouldn't leave me. A messenger went missing, and the trail leads here. The trail? What kind of tra- Oh, that kind of trail. Was he killed? Who killed him? Who could have? No. He couldn't have. He wouldn't. He couldn't. Would he? Did he? By he, do you mean your cousin? Beloved, I. But he couldn't. He's nothing like that. He's a good un. I'll need to search your house. I... Yes. Yes. Of course, if you think it important. I'll go take a look at your house now. If there's anything I can do to help, I'm here. By not pointing the finger, he pointed the finger. What does he know? No blood.
beloved dreams of a better life, but fears his father's blood and will drag him down. An ambitious kid from a bad family. Unheard of. Beloved fears he'll be a killer like his father. It doesn't have to be that way. He has free will. There's nothing more to find here. Huh? You flying Scots busybody! Who died and made you constable? Easy now, Scudder. Your cousin gave me permission to come in. Credence means everything he says, and thinks everyone else does too. What do you want? I'm investigating a haunting, your haunting, as a matter of fact. I don't yet know whose ghost it is, but it'll have good reason to linger. I've seen your work. I've seen the bodies. Take your investigation and get out of my house. No need to be so defensive. What are you hiding, Mr. Scudder? I... N no, you're trying to bewilder me. Out with you, out of my house. <laughs> Your father's son. You must worry you'll repeat his many mistakes. How do you know? W leave me be. You can't do this to us. From your demeanor, I'm guessing it was your first time. Killing a man, I mean. It... No! I dare not! I can't! I... No! Please! Go! Enough! What foe retribution is this? Son... Oh, oh no! They hanged the old man! They hanged old Jed! The light is doomed! I too shall swing! You must be the boy's father. My son is innocent. I'm Antea Duarte, and this is Red McWraith. We are banishers. Look, to credence. In your letter you said you were coming to New Eden. You made it, sort of. What happened? <sighs> I had passage booked to Boston. A captain who asked no questions. And a ship's cook who needed the reward money. The catch poles took me at the dock. Ten days later they took me up to Gallows Acre. And there I was hanged. For murder? Yeah, for murder, yeah. And all the rest. Murder is no bragging matter. You're a Scot. You ever kill a man? I have, aye. More than once. Be proud, sir. For you are a man of violent achievement. And are to be reckoned with. You, sir, are a bad. A bad and just like me. What do you want, Ghost? Why have you come? Beloved is my boy. Yes, we get that. Good of you to visit. Why have you come? We lived in Bristol. Barely. Shared a leaky room with other lodgers. All were ill all the time. My wife deserved better. We all did. I gathered every shilling I could and sent the boy, his mother and his cousin, to the colonies. Beloved's my son, and now he's grown. I'll make sure he straightens up. So you're here to protect Beloved? Protect him from what? From corruption. From perdition. From my blood that runs in his veins. But most, most of all, 
I must protect him from corruption by his wily cousin, Credence. It takes a burden to catch a burden, and that's how I know Credence is vicious. He has a hiding place in the woods. There, you'll find the proof. Where, exactly? How shall we know this hiding place? There's a small wood cabin, but well hid. West of here, on the heights. A wooden cabin hidey hole, west, got it. What of Credence? Why do you believe him bad? He was a hellion as a baby, and no mistake. Especially after his mum and dad died, and we took him in. I thought him an odd child. But he were happy with my Mary, and sweet too. She loved him. He's a bad one, and probably always was. He hides it better than any rogue, just as he hides the sharpness of his wit. Why send him to New Eden, then? Mary thought to take the boys as far from Bristol as she could go. In the colonies, so went her thinking. She could raise two good and honest men. But without her guiding hand, tis clear that Credence bent, beloved. Crooked. Are you sure Credence is guilty? It seems far-fetched. I have watched him on his own. Unseen. I know about her, for I am one of them. And I tell you with no doubt, so is he. We'll investigate Credence's hideout then. Make our own minds up. I speak the truth. You'll see it. Beloved just learned of his father's death. Maybe we should go to him before searching Credence's hide. Someone's lying. Maybe everyone's lying. And Jed's ghost is at once benign and hostile. He's dead. He's really dead. They hanged him, didn't they? Aye, they did. Condolences. Keep him. Jed was a bad father and a bad man. The world's a better place without him. Am I haunted by his ghost? Aye. He's here to protect you, as a father ought. Acting the father now he's six feet under. I'd laugh if he hadn't tormented us so while well alive. How do you feel? Your father's death and all. I'm feeling good. No thanks for asking. He's dead, and soon, if you do your job, you'll be gone. Tell me about him. Tell me about your father. What's to tell? Jed was a scoundrel his whole live-long life. He was a scoundrel, and he sent us away. Me, my pregnant mum, and Credence too. Jed was meant to follow. But he never did. To hell with him. How did you and Credence end up together? He's lived with us since his mother died. Came over on the boat. A new start for everyone. You know? Then my own mum died. And it was just us. It's been just us for years now. Credence had it rough as a kid. But he's no trouble. Credence is better than you think. Better than anyone thinks. Jed suggested we have a word with Credence. Any idea where he might be? You shouldn't listen to my old man. He was not with us, never was. 
Leave Credence be. My cousin didn't. He's not. Look, if there's bad blood, tis mine. I'm evil to the marrow. A man who stands up for his kin can't be all bad. What does it matter if badness is in his blood? Do what you must. I'll not run. I'll face my fate, whatever it may be. Did you kill the messenger? I... we... In my dreams I see him drowning. His death weighs heavy upon me. I wish to think of him no more. Forget it! Forget the whole thing. I will, if I can. Strange that Beloved talked of the drowning, but not the stabbing. Either way, he fears he is a killer like his father. Perhaps it's not too late. He may yet avoid his father's fate. Well then, we'll find Credence's forest hiding hall and learn what's what. The hunting is poor. I wouldn't bother. There's a cabin up on that bluff there. Credence's hide, perhaps. Credence knew that Jed was hanged. He kept the news from Beloved. Was he manipulating Beloved? Seems that way. Nice view. It covers all the main approaches. <laughs> I'd started to think Jed Scudder had made it up. for a man who can't read. Wasn't the train band to be paid in silver? A plantation in the West Indies. Planned down to the purchase price. We've learned enough. Jed was right. Credence is cleverer than he pretends. He reads and writes and plans ambitious plans. A plantation needs a lot of coin. The silver connects him to the payroll robbery. And to the murder. The manipulative little shite. We need to talk to the Scudder boys.
They're arguing. See if you can eavesdrop. We must confess! Beg for mercy! I will not hang. I can't carry the burden! You can. And you will. Soon we'll put it behind us. New Eden. Everything. I cannot put it behind me. I bashed a man's brains in. I must fess it. No. I'll say you stabbed Askell's man and killed you in self-defense. As the father, so the son, they'll say, as they hang your corpse. No. What the? Jed, no one move, including you, Jed. Thank you. God, you're here, Mr. McRae. Nobody bloody talk either, until we sort this out. What are you waiting for? Are you not going to take care of that ghost? Credence, you knew the postman was stabbed. How did you know it? Huh? I... What are you talking about? I knew it. I never mentioned it. Surely you did. You must have. Credence, the Scudder boy. The Scudder boy plays the fool, plays us all for fools. Sir, you have it wrong. I swear it. You needed money for your plantation in the West Indies. When the postman passed with a payroll, you took your chance. Beloved was not given to violence, so when he fled the scene, you followed the man and finished him off. You let Beloved believe himself guilty, but the plan was yours from start to finish. The dead man's blood is on your hands. But I never... Well, wouldn't you? You're no angel. You're no sheriff, neither. So what are you going to do about it? Credence. How? Oh, don't act the startled fawn, beloved. You're up to your neck in this, too. Anything to say in your defense, beloved? I didn't know. I, I, I swear I didn't know. My arse. He hit the messenger with a rock. He did it. You knew what you were doing. You wanted a way. You wanted the payroll. Fucking hell. You, you used me! I shall rise above them, a great and wealthy man, my cousin by my side. Please, we used each other. Jedediah, you wish to prevent your son from meeting his father's fate, but by haunting him, in time, your love will kill him. I am here for credence. My boy is good. I don't care either way. He did what he did. He must accept the consequences. Might teach him some humility. His father clearly loves him, for whatever that's worth. Spare my boy! Punish his cousin! Whatever we choose, I doubt you'll like all of it. Maybe you won't like any of it. Credence Scudder, you and your cousin are haunted by the ghost of your Uncle Jed. That ends now. Jedediah Scudder, though you may worry for your son, it's time to let him go. Beloved's mistakes are his own. With luck, he'll make fewer. My son, you'll always be that brown-eyed boy looking up at me. That boy is dead and done and gone. I did my best. 
I have loved you. I know this now. Goodbye, Jed. You may go. Now, if you don't mind, I need a private word with my cousin. <laughs> this should be good. I've no wish to be around for that. Let's go. Beloved feared he was like his father. You used that to manipulate him into joining the robbery. If caught, he would take the blame, but he failed. Beloved was not given to violence, so when he fled the scene, you followed the man and finished him off. You let Beloved believe himself guilty. But you are... Creed... Jedediah Scudder, your son may be born to hang, and your nephew a manipulative murderer, but the fact remains... You are the lingering dead, and we have a job to do. They'll be better off without you. If you want to say goodbye to your father, the moment is now. I said my goodbyes a long, long time ago. Son, let that make you a better man. Be gone. Your old man was a pox. Good riddance. I suppose that's so. So very moving. Let's leave them to it. Beloved Scudder, you could have put a stop to this tragic affair, but you did not. Not even your father's return made you end your mischief. I admit you're not the only culprit. I'd like to offer you salvation, but I cannot. I'll get you for this and Scudder! No. You won't. I can change! I know that now! I... I can be a better man! Now we'd all like to believe that. But it's too late. You walked into the darkness. That path has led you here. death. So small and shameful. Just like my life. <laughs> to, to end the haunted. You killed the haunted. Oh, that's twisted. I like it. Let's go, Red, before we kill another Scudder. Credence Scudder, a malignant manipulator. You killed a man in cold blood and tried to lay the murder on your cousin. With the least of your many mischiefs, you brought the tormented soul of an anguished father back from the dead. Sir, please, please, sir. I beg of you. Bah! That soft shite will work on me no more. Time to cut the bad from you. See what's left.
This is unfair. I deserve the world. A curse upon you. He's dead. You've killed him. What is wrong with you? Get out of my house, murderer. No. Leave him to his grief. It's a bad day to be beloved Scudder.